what's good youtube this your boy chi world back to y'all again with another art tutorial man if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you but drop some heat in today's video i will be giving you guys a full walkthrough on how to draw with your mouse using will smith one of the greatest actors of all time man so without further ado let's jump right into this video first thing we're gonna do now the first thing before i drag the picture man let me show y'all the methods that we're gonna use so all you need to do starting out is go to your ellipse tool move this color black to the top lock the bottom color and we finna create our brush so let's drag this circle until it have like some sharp points you know what i'm saying i think i think that's pretty good right there you see zoom in a little closer and you want to get these points to to like a sharp tip and while it's still selected you want to come right here you want to click new brush then you want to click art brush then you want to hit ok then you just want to click ok again and now you can come to your brush tool i mean you can select your brush and the brush we just created is there so that's the first thing you need to learn how to do now one main method you need to know is crossing your lines so you can make better line work so we're going to use this method a lot so i'm gonna go ahead and show you it's where just say if we was drawing an eye instead of trying to draw it like this what you want to do is you want to get in the habit of overshooting your lines you know what I'm saying? And what I mean by overshooting is you cross the lines that you automatically keep setting your mind that you're gonna go through and you're gonna clean them up. So just say, if I was drawing a, a basketball, instead of trying to be straight on the line, what I would do is I would just overshoot them like this. You want to overshoot your lines and then after you overshoot your lines all you got to do is highlight everything you go to object expand appearance and you click divide on your pathfinder and now we can go back isolate select group and delete the lines we overshot so that's one of the main methods we will be using in this tutorial especially using your your mouse that's one of the main methods you need to know and let's double click onto our brush and you want to move your smoothness all the way up so it'll help you have cleaner lines and it'll help you get more control over your brush because it's hard to make a clean line just using your mouse but with moving your smoothness all the way up it'll help you correct that line so and another thing you need to know come over here to your pencil tool and while this color is on top and the bottom one is locked we're going to use that as a fill tool so what that do is any selection you make and you come back and close it off it'll fill in the inner area so we're going to use that too the pencil tool and the brush tool with our mouse so without further ado let's jump right into this video i'm gonna drag and drop my picture hold shift i'm gonna hold shift stretch it out big as we need it and you know what we're gonna go ahead and make it bigger than the artboard because the bigger your picture is the easier it is to do the details so we can always change the size later so 
Let's go ahead and make it big as we can get it. Drop the opacity down on the picture and hit lock. Create us a new layer right above it. Go to our brush tool and we're gonna zoom in. And remember what I told you what we finna do? We finna overshoot our lines, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna come right here. And then I'm gonna bring this one all the way through. Just like this. Bring that up like that. Let's see. I need to try that again. Let me try that one more time. Just bring it, start this line. And as you notice, when you zoom in close on the picture, it's very pixelated. So all you gotta do is just try to stay in the center of the pixels. So we just overshooting our lines. And to come up. Make this eye. Hold Control Z anytime you need to delete. Let me double click my brush, make sure my smoothness all the way up. I just gotta be more slower so it'll help me correct the lines a little better. Now what we finna do is go ahead and cut out the lines we overshot. I go in our object, expand appearance, and click and divide on our pathfinder. I'm gonna come to this white selection tool and just hit delete. You gotta hit it twice when you do the white selection tool. Now what you want to do is you want to hold 
why you got these pieces of hairs we just made selected you want to hold out until you see these two arrows appear and you just want to keep dragging wait select it all hold all and keep dragging it across this will buy you some time And you also want to make some different hairs so it just don't look so computerized. So I'm going to drag this around just for a little bit and then I'm going to make some more pieces of hair going like in opposite directions. Go ahead and get my, my brush back out. And make us some more. Pieces of hair. Got that look like a nice little patch. Let's go ahead and select it. Hold out. Let's drag that around for a little bit. Put that to the side just in case I want to grab it again and use it. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and highlight that and hold out. Try that thing go. Also, I got that selected. I'm gonna move this to the side just in case I want to reach. Stay using it. I think that's what we're gonna do. Some more, but we make a different patch so it'll just flow all good and look natural. brush a little bigger so this black flow into the hairs and look more natural out dragging on this side it's just me using the small drawings I made of the hair as like a stamp you know what I'm saying because it'll be too difficult trying to draw it piece by piece so you want to create you just find a little smarter methods that'll help you get the job done so I just created a stamp out of the pieces of hairs I made. I'm holding alt so I can keep re-stamping. That's it, just keep holding alt so you can use it as a stamp. Let's go ahead 
And let's make all these lines one. So we can save us some space. Expand. Depends. And we're going to click merge on our Pathfinder. Now we good. Now let's go ahead and select everything one more time. Object, expand, click merge. So now make a copy of your line work. Lock the top layer. Select this at the bottom. Go to your rectangle tool. Let's find him a nice bass tone. Find a nice little bass tone to start with. Try to color over the entire picture. Right click the color, go to arrange, and send to back. You'll know if you did the step right. If you look over here and you see a line where it's sitting on top of it, on top of the color, highlight everything, and you just hit merge on your pathfinder. Right click the color, isolate, select group, and now we can delete this outer color. Another thing I like to do, hit this drop down menu, scroll down until I see my last piece of black line work, and lock all the black lines. We'll keep the top two unlocked. Now we can delete these pieces of colors that's trapped in the hair without deleting our line work. <clears throat> okay I'm finna isolate select group hold shift so we can select more than one thing at a time Okay, now that we got the base color down, we're going to make a copy of our color layer. Lock the bottom copy. Turn the eye off on the bottom copy. Come to the middle. Get our white selection tool. And we're going to delete the, only the skin tone out of this layer. We get all the colors out the hair as well.
Okay, now that we finish, you want to bring your bottom layer back by turning the eye back on. Lock that layer. Create a new layer in between those two. Now we're going to add some shadows and shading. So we're going to sample the skin tone. And let's find us a nice dark shadow to start with. that'll do for now put our pencil tool double click it with your smoothness all the way to the top make sure your color is on the top and your bottom color is locked so it'll work as a fill and now we're going to start shading And there you have it, you guys, how to cartoon yourself using the mouse. Make sure you stay tuned, more heat coming soon. And I'm out this time.